Hey everybody, Brian from Witch Doctor here. Wanted to do a follow-up test to the primer sorting test that I did previously. In the previous series of tests, I basically was able to show that primers of different weight have different ballistics. So the lighter primers tend to have slower velocities. Uh, heavier primers tend to have faster velocities. Now this finding is very important for long range shooting. So if you have, you know, a, a 20, 30, 40 feet per second difference on average between your light primers and your heavy primers, uh, you're going to have some serious vertical uh, going on at distance. And so a lot of the long range shooters that I know uh, that do really well, um, sort their primers. And for this very reason that, you know, having large variation in uh, muzzle velocity is going to cause uh, serious vertical dispersion on target at, you know, 600,000 yards or beyond. Anyway, um, so the findings had some pretty good Im implications for that group of shooters. There was a group of shooters uh, at the short range bench rest that wondered, you know, well, is that much variation going to be a big deal, you know, at 100 yards or 200 yards? Uh, you know, some speculation that, well, at 100 yards, you know, maybe some variation is meaningful, but uh, not sure, you know, if it's that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. Should I waste my time, you know, doing that if it's not that big of a deal? Um, at 200 yards, you know, it was like, well, now I'm starting to speculate a little bit at that distance. I've, I've done some tests previously that have shown differences in 100 and 200 yards based on certain factors in terms of like weighing charges and things like that. So, you know, I thought, well, you know, at 100, I didn't find anything, you know, in terms of weighing charges, but definitely at 200, I did. So I thought, all right, well, let's do this primer sort test at 200 and see if it produces anything meaningful. So I loaded up several rounds um, and basically simulated a short range bench rest match where you would shoot five five shot groups at 200 yards for your aggregate uh, for that day um, or that particular you know match period. And I shot um, the same exact load in terms of using the Paul Porosky Joker bullets the bullets that are on the 825 jacket um, seated two thousandths off the lands but I found with these joker bullets even the 825 and the 790s both tend to shoot really good two thousandths off the land so I went ahead and loaded these two thousandths off the lands I used LT32 powder with a 27.8 charge I just did load development the other day and found that to be a pretty darn good load Use the exact same rifle, my test rifle here, my, my Bat Nouveau with my Brux test barrel and my March scope. And uh, everything was exactly the same except for these five five shot groups. I just pulled out an unsorted sleeve of Federal 205 M's and just loaded all these with, uh, uh, with a non sorted. A box of Federal 205 M primers and shot these at 200 yards um, and then with this set of bullets I sorted the primers and used the 3.66 weight so all the primers here weighed in at 3.66 okay what I found in terms of differences was in the non sorted I had tons of vertical I mean you can see on all of these targets all five that there's considerable vertical. Um, this pattern array with this aggregate, this aggregate ended up being a 0.5483 aggregate, would not do good at all uh, in a short range bench rest competition at 200 yards. Um, the vertical is blatantly obvious. In fact, I even started tracking individual bullet shots to see is, is, is that velocity of that particular bullet that went high going to be greater than the average velocity of the five shot group and actually found that so like the average velocity of this five shot group was 3262 feet per second this high shot had a velocity of 3306 so a good you know 44 
uh, feet per second faster than the average. And you can see how, how much higher it went from the group. This overall group measured at 1.230. Um, same thing here with this group. I measured the average velocity of all of them was 3271. The bullet that went the highest was 3297. So what this is telling me is that the, the primers that are probably heavier um, are going higher and going faster than probably these primers are a little bit lighter and going a little bit slower, but it's definitely showing up on target. Same thing with this target. 3261 was the average velocity of that five shot group, and the one that popped up the highest was 3281, so a good 20 feet per second faster. Same thing with this one. 3311 was the high. 3250 were these two low ones. The average was 3274. So you can literally see at 200 yards the significant variation that you're going to get with a mixed set of primers, primers that are not sorted by weight. And these primers, the Federal 205Ms, what I was finding when I was sorting them, um, not these ones shot in this particular array, target array, but the ones that I used with this target array, um, weighed anywhere between 3.60 and 3.76. So you got a pretty significant spread of weights. My guess is, you know, the ones that kind of clustered together near the middle of the target or just below the cross um, were probably, you know, average weight, probably around the 3.66, you know, average weight. And then the ones that shot really high were probably the heavier ones. The ones that shot pretty low were probably the lighter ones. Okay, so significant, um, you know, vertical dispersion. So these were the sorted ones. So I sorted these, and these all weighed 3.66. And you can see just in general, the much less vertical when you look at the whole target arrays here. Um, and in fact, I ran a statistical analysis, and literally the sorted average group size was 0.5263, the not sorted was 1.0966, so almost double the amount of vertical when you don't sort them versus sorted. The aggregate for sorted was 0.2614, not sorted 0.5483. So you could see, cut the aggregate in half uh, by sorting this, and that was a statistically significant difference, huge statistically significant difference. Um, but yeah, e even with shooting these five shot groups, I did track this high shot and wondered, boy, why did that go so high? The average velocity for this group was 3275. This one was 3307. So I don't know. That could have been a primer that weighed at 3.66 on the scale, but the scale was may, may have been off for that particular one. I don't know. It may have been 3.66 and just for whatever reason uh, shot a lot faster. Um, that totally increased the standard deviation and extreme spread of this five shot group and you can see how it was grouping really nicely and then bam, you know, one pops really high. Um, anyway, so measured all the groups and everything and it turns out that in terms of precision at 200 yards, yes, weight sorting the primers, you know, are a major factor and if you don't, you will probably run the risk of having a lot of vertical. So. Um, primer weight, definitely a factor in vertical dispersion, definitely a factor in precision, at two, even at 200 yards. Velocity, uh, there was a velocity difference. Again, I'm not too uh, worried about a velocity difference in this. That's not really what I was looking for, looking at. But it turns out that um, the not sorted primers had a statistically significantly lower overall average velocity. Now, standard deviation was a big deal, you know, because you'd expect if they're not sorted and they have that large variation of primer weight going on, the standard deviation should be higher, and it was. In the sorted um, set of uh, five-shot groups, the average standard deviation was 12.82. Um, not sorting was 21.82, and that was a statistically significant finding also. And the same thing with extreme spread. Extreme spread for sorted was 33.4, not sorted 52.4, statistically significant. So overall, the results of this testing show that yes, sorting primers can 
significantly, if not cut in half, uh, the potential vertical that you're going to have uh, when you're shooting at even at 200 yards. So there you go. Um, primer sorting is definitely something to consider. It's a factor that could cut down your 200 yard aggregate quite a bit by shrinking up that, you know, vertical dispersion in your groups. All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe, like, and share, and please check out my Patreon. Your, your ongoing support is greatly appreciated.